Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your daily reading for today. Today is a Wednesday. It is already February the 5th. Could you guys believe that? It's already February the 5th. Wow. All right. Um, so yeah, let's hop into this reading, guys. Um, I do want to say thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of the subscriptions, the views, the comments, the shares, the likes. You guys are amazing. I I would never ask for better subscribers. Like you guys are amazing. Like I love my soul family. You guys are definitely part of my soul family. Um, so yeah, like I said, I couldn't ask for better subscribers. Um, this is going to be a collective reading. It is for all of the zodiac signs. It's general. Do only take what resonates with you. Do not force anything to resonate with you or do not try to fit your situation in the reading if it does not apply to you. Alrighty. Um, so let's hop in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, follow your girl on IG as Fire Intuition. Um, if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can check the description box below. The February special is listed as well. Alrighty, guys. So, let's hop in. But before we hop in, guys, I just want to say that I am super freaking excited about this workshop coming up that I'm launching on Sunday, March the 1st. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. Um, I am living proof of um, what we will be talking about. So I'm about to teach you guys how to attract and manifest, and manifest your wants and desires. I'm also going to teach you guys how to attract and bring in the one within seven to nine weeks. Alrighty. Um, I'm also going to share my story I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on me and how I manifested my business, how I started on YouTube, and how it has been nothing but great and successful. My anniversary was on the 20th of January, so this will be my third year, and this was like the best decision I ever made. I had a job that was paying good, but I was check to check. I wasn't happy. I was going through some awakening. Tarot came to me. And one day I just went into my job and I was like, you know what, I'm quitting, I'm going on YouTube. And everyone laughed and, you know, everyone said what they had to say, but it's been nothing, like I said, but great and successful um, since I made that decision. And I was just in a really bad place. I was, I just came out of a, a relationship that I was in long term. I had gained a lot of weight. The day that I quit my job, I had received um, an eviction notice and it's just crazy how everything turned around and changed for me by the end of the week. I'm not even lying. And I was nervous. I was sweating bullets. I was damn about to piss my pants going on YouTube. But like I said, the best decision I ever made. And I got to meet you all, not like in person, but like you guys are part of my soul family, the personal readings, you know, um, through the chats and all that. So I love it. Um, was there blockages and obstacles? Yes. But again, like I said, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, so yes, guys, I'm super excited. Can't wait to do this, um, workshop. There is going to be some upgrades offered. I am launching a new manifest, a new chakra packet. I'm doing a 31 self day, um, a 31 self love challenge, sorry, workbook that is free. That's included in the workshop. The registration fee is $35. And, um, yeah, just, just a lot of good shit guys. So just definitely, um, check it out. Support your girl. Love it. Everything's in the description box below. Also in the community tab. I will leave the video at the end of this reading so that you guys could um, check it out if you guys haven't already. Alrighty. Secondly, Patreon. Patreon, Patreon. And I'm going to be quick, guys. Um, so I was um, reading comments and the, the feedback was really positive. But you guys want a lot of content over there. So I'm going to start being a little bit more consistent on my Patreon. Do support me, guys. By your intuition, I'm on Patreon. Um, I'm going to um, do like mini daily readings over there. I'm going to like look at the energy that we're pulling in and looking at the energy that we need to avoid or, you know, like like what's coming towards us so that you guys can be aware. I'm going to do like um, more spirit messages, daily messages, career, finance readings, um, blockage readings, spirit um, messages, like the spirit message readings, which I do now, but I do them like monthly or bi-weekly and you guys are wanting more of that. Also, I'm going to add the extended reading. So whenever I do an extended reading, you guys will get the link to that on the Patreon. So I'm building that tier. It's about to post. It'll be posted by the time I do this reading. 
but um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know so i'm changing and doing upgrades i was in the energy of kind of like stillness because of this retrograde coming up i can feel it so i needed to replan re-strategize i needed to um you know go back to the drawing board look at my vision board um i have a lot of ideas and things that i've had on my mind for a long time and it's like spirit is like ash get suited and booted it's time to do it so that's what I'm doing. So I have a lot of great stuff coming in for you guys. Um, just stay tuned, guys. It's going to be amazing, all right? So let's hop in. Um, I didn't mean to be so long, but this was very important, and I feel like you guys needed to know, all right? So let's see what our spirit message is so far. We have clear your energy field number 10. Okay, so you guys are definitely needing to clear your aura. Okay, um, clear your energy field. Some of you guys are needing to sage. She has a sage stick in her hand. You guys are definitely needing to sage and clear your energy, clear your space. Um, a number 10 is great. So um, it looks like some type of energy is, is leaving. You know, open up all your windows too. If it's not cold, open up all your windows and shift your energy out. For some of you guys, look, we have dance. Some of you guys could be dancing. Some of you guys can um, be dancers, um, working in performing arts and stuff like that. But when I'm, what I'm getting from this deck is like, this is like a happy dance. Like you dancing around the house, happy, you know, in a good mood. You know, on the weekends when you clean up and you got your headphones and you're like dancing and your little booty shorts, that's me. And you got your little tank top on and stuff like that, hair wrapped up, you know, down or whatever. But this is like you just having fun, dancing, shifting your energy, coming out of um, an old energy. So shifting into a new energy. We have, look, abundance planning. Someone has money on their mind. Okay. I'm also... Um, launching a seven day money challenge too so stay tuned for that as well so um yeah look number one abundance planning so someone is you know journaling someone is writing out the things that they're wanting someone is trying to manifest new beginnings so this is great guys make an altar and then we have flow like water i'm loving this loving this loving it loving it um this is beautiful this is amazing so make an altar guys put your candles up there your pictures, all your great stuff, whatever it is that you guys want on your altar. Some of you guys need to get some Josh paper and um, and burn money to your ancestors. And I'm going to do that tonight because my friend reminded me last night. I need to do that. I need to um, burn some Josh um, money. Well, it's like Josh paper. It's like ancestor money to my ancestors and thank them um, for everything that they have done or the things that they do for me. And then we have flow like water. So number 24, this is six, balance. You guys are needed to be around water. Um, water is going to help shift your energy, okay? Or some of you guys are just needed to flow like water. I really feel like this is like going with the flow, okay? Because um, she's like diving in. She's just like going with the flow. She's like, it is what it is. So I'm loving this. But I feel like you guys need to be around water to shift and um, shift your energy, Okay. At the bottom, we have number 23, family. Five is about change. So there can be a change in the family situation for the positive. I don't think like it's going to be negative. There could be a new addition to the family. You're getting closer to a family member. Um, just spending a lot of time with your family, um, your children, stuff like that. So definitely love being this. All right, guys. So let's pull some tarot cards. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, let's see what's going on, guys. Alrighty, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. All right, Spirit of Universe. Messages for the collective. What's coming in for the collective? And I'm actually going to move these over. These spirit messages are beautiful. I love these cards. These are amazing. These are beautiful. And I'm going to take them out because I know you guys are going to ask. It's called the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. This is new. It just, um, they just um, launched it on um, Amazon. I pre-ordered it a, a while ago. So, yeah, definitely loving this deck. This is amazing. Love it, guys. So, yes, let's hop in. Let's see what we got with the tarot. All right. for you guys let's see uh oh we have the star coming up reverse we have the knight of wands 
Six of Cups Reverse, the World card, the Two of Cups Reverse, the Devil in Reverse, the Queen of Wands, loving the Queen of Wands for the potential outcome. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers Reverse, okay? Um, you guys are coming out of a relationship that you guys weren't happy in or someone couldn't seem to make a decision and you're making a decision for them by walking away is what I'm seeing and feeling. The lovers in reverse can also be a decision being made. This can be some type of intense, intense connection. We do have the four of wands behind that though. Now for some of you guys, you're going to go out with your friends or you're going to some type of event or something very soon within the, within the next three to four days. And um, either the next three to four days, three to four weeks, okay? And you guys are about to meet like the love of your life or meet someone that's going to be in your life for a long time, okay? We have the Empress here. So I'm loving the energy here. Um, yes, I'm loving this energy, guys at the bottom of the deck but let me just take some time and look and see what is going on for real we have the star in reverse and that's you guys losing hope and faith on the situation um thinking negative some of you guys are um needing to heal better days are coming the star in reverse can also be you guys feeling like you're never going to meet mr or mrs right there could have been a lot of, of failed relationships in the past is what I'm also getting here. Someone's coming in towards you guys. Someone is finally coming out of fear. I feel like some of you guys have met someone, but you're really needing to take it slow with this person. There's a lot of fear. This person is scared. Um, they could be thinking negative at times. They may see and view you as too good to be true with this Queen of Wands. And we have that Empress here. So let's kind of go into the cards. Let's see what we got, guys. Um, this looks pretty interesting. So let's see. Why is the star coming up in reverse? This is the heart of the matter. So let's see what this is about, guys. The Knight of Swords. So you guys are needing to be honest with yourself or you guys are being honest with yourself. I kind of look at the Knight of Swords sometimes as like, Maybe in the past you guys kind of rushed into things. You guys made impulse decisions or you guys um, got into relationships that you knew weren't going to be like long term or they wouldn't really go anywhere. The Knight of Swords to the Star Reverse is kind of like you needing to put a, um, like pump the brakes. Like it's, it's telling me that you guys are realizing that, you know, maybe you guys did move too fast. Maybe you guys did rush into relationships, you know. And I was just telling my friend last night, I was telling her like, I was like, I want an epic love story. And I've been in love, but I don't feel like I've ever, like, met a true love. And that's what I'm bringing in and attracting right now. And I told her that by me being an empath, I, I know and understand how people feel. And I was at a point in my life where it seemed easier to fix and shape someone else than to fix and shape myself. So I would get in relationships and be excited to fix and change and shape someone. Because I didn't have to focus on me. I didn't have to do the work. I didn't have to like heal the things that I knew I needed to heal. I avoided that by helping them grow and evolve. But then it got me nowhere. And it took me a, a few relationships to see that. And I feel like that's what you guys are um, thinking about. Or that's the energy that you guys are in or working. And you're just like, okay, love comes in my life. I meet people. But why aren't my relationships lasting? Why am I not getting what I want out of my relationships? Um, so I just feel like with the star reverse, it's like you're going to meet the right person. But not needing to rush um, or go into something too quickly. So let's see how the Knight of Swords is here. Yep, see, look, the Knight of Swords of Lovers is here. Don't rush this or don't go into something very quick. Love is coming in for you guys for sure. Okay, because we have the death card in reverse. And it's time for you guys to um, start resisting this change within you. Or it's time for you guys to like stop attracting the same type of people. So it really need to shift or change something about you. And it's not a bad thing. It could be anything very simple. Or it can just be as simple as you guys just needing to like move slow and like really take your time when it comes to love. You know, or getting to know someone. But this looks great because it's like when the love comes in or when this person comes in, it's like... When the timing is right and when it's time for you guys to move forward or when it's meant to move forward, things are going to move forward. And it's this is a divine soulmate connection. This is a divine union, a divine soulmate connection. So let's see why this lovers is here. Let's see why this um why this lovers is here. Let's see. Death card in reverse. What did I just say? It's time for you guys to move slow. Someone from your past is going to try to come back to and try to confuse you. 
Um, and only I said confusion is because we have the Knight of Swords. They're rushing in, you know, um, or they're rushing in with a decision, like the, the lovers, because it's about making a choice. They're like, oh, I'm ready now. Like, let's be together. Like, I'm ready to express my love. I'm ready to tell you how I feel. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may want it, you may not. And for others of you, you're just like, okay, if I take this person back, if this person comes back, like, like what's going to happen? Like, are we going to actually have a relationship? Is this something that's going to move forward? You know, will this move forward? Thank you so much, baby. I love it. You are amazing. All right. I'll see it in one second. Um, sorry, my son colored me a picture um, with a whole bunch of hearts on it. Freaking amazing. Love them to pieces. Um, so, yeah, it's like you're not sure where this relationship is going to go, you know. And it's like you kind of want this more than ever for some of you guys. But it's like due to the past and things that happened in the past, you're kind of unsure. Okay, someone is like, please get on the boat with me. Let's move on. Let's move forward. Someone's even willing to like move out of state, relocate, um, because they really want to um save this relationship for some of you guys. Okay, for others of you, there's someone at a distance that is is wanting to see you, or wanting to be with you, or wanting to express to you how they feel. But you see this person as a death card in reverse. It's like every time they come back, it's like you're just like, okay, nothing has changed. There's either more baggage, more problems, more issues, or you're just back in my life and nothing is, is moving, growing, evolving, you know, between the two of you guys. This person is resisting a change. This person could, you know, feel like nothing is wrong with them. For some of you guys, they could be playing victim, even though we don't have any cards that are saying that. But that's just what I'm feeling because I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with is like, it's a stagnant energy. And that's why we have a Queen of Wands potential outcome. The devil is coming up in reverse. You guys are definitely shifting and coming out of this energy. So we have the Knight of Wands coming up, and this is the energy that's around you. Um, this can be a person. I kind of feel like it's an energy. It's an energy of like um, this, a passionate energy, focusing on the things that make you happy. Like, what do you desire? What are you passionate about? Um, focusing on your goals, like going after things you want. This could be a person. If it is, it's someone that's going to be in and out with this Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, because we have the Six of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. Let's see. The High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, see, and I remember I just said, like, you don't know if this person is going to change, if they're changed or not. So you don't trust your intuition when it comes to this person or, like, your intuition is just kind of foggy when it comes to someone. Someone also is coming towards you. They want to keep this in secret. So what I'm getting is, like, they want to, oh, they're planning on leaving a situation, um, but they want to be with you, like, this is, okay, so what I'm getting, the message that I'm getting is that this person is leaving a situation and they want to start something with you, but they want it to be in secret because they don't want anyone to know or the person to know. I don't feel like this relationship is going to stay in secrecy. I just feel like they want to move forward and they want to move forward in peace. They don't want any drama. So they may be telling you, like, let's keep things on the hush. Let's keep things on the low. Let's not tell anybody. Um, for others of you, um, this person, it doesn't have to do with anyone else. They want to be with you, but it's all about what other people are saying and thinking. Um, there could have been some toxicity around them, family members, friends that were, you know, just saying stuff. And it's like, this person really wants to be with you, but they're, they're kind of focused on what other people are going to say, what other people think. And they want you really bad, but they need to release that energy. They need to shift that energy. Yep. See the tower is coming up in reverse. So the tower in reverse could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces. This person, they have a lot of bottled up emotions and feelings. They have a lot that they need to release and let go of before change can happen or before things are going to change for the better between the two of you guys. So let's see how the tower is coming up in reverse. So we have Scorpio energy heavy in this reading so far. Um, we have Gemini energy. Um, so let's see why is this tower coming up in reverse. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. For some of you guys, like, yeah, this person is already taken. I don't know why. Okay, going to this line of pentacles reverse. I, uh, someone's hiding money. Someone's hiding money. Why is this line of pentacles reverse? Someone's hiding money. Someone's claiming to be broke. Seven of cups reverse. Someone's hiding money. Someone's claiming to be broke. And with the seven of cups reverse, I'm looking at this as like with the seven of cups in the upright. There was a lot of things that you wanted or expected from this person. But it's like this, someone is hiding money, guys. I'm telling you. Someone is hiding money and they're about to come in, come into your life or come back into your life and give you everything you wanted from them. And that's how they're going to prove to you they want to move forward. 
that may not be what you want because you may be wanting them to open up and express or get rid of the family, friends, or whoever was in between you guys. But someone's about to give you everything you want um, or things that you were asking for in the past. But this person is claiming like they're broke or they don't have money. This can be like the mother or father of your child. But this person is, um, they're doing a lot of things in secrecy. So this person, someone's moving in silence. Someone's moving in silence for sure. I def someone's hiding hiding money is this person hiding money yep seven of cups what did i just tell you queen of pentacles what did i just tell you somebody is the queen of pentacles low key male or female it's feminine energy doesn't matter someone's holding um holding on to money okay i feel like they're doing it for the relationship um let's go on to this queen of pentacles because they see your worth now okay this person sees your worth Go on to the Queen of Pentacles. I have the Queen of Pentacles here. And all the things you dreamed of or fantasized, they're going to give them to you. Like you see right here, there's a face. I mean, there's a lot of different things going on. Jewelry. You know, there was deception. There was lies, all this type of stuff. But there's a big house. There's jewelry, all that. Someone is trying to make things up to you. But they're lying about money or about having money. Someone's claiming to be broke or they're, they're just acting like they don't have much. But someone's holding on to money. Someone's saving money. And the Queen of Pentacles is really generous. We know that. But this person is definitely, look, see Three of Pentacles. And they're making plans for the future. Like this is someone putting plans in action or this person is coming in planning to like marry you, offer you something, give you something. Someone's moving in silence, but it's for the positive. Um, let's see how this Three of Pentacles is here. Yep, see the Eight of Cups. This is someone you walk away from or someone that walked away from you. There's been distance. There has been silence between you guys. Could be a Virgo. You guys haven't really been talking. I also am getting, if this is someone that you guys are with that is with someone, um, someone is trying to take advantage of them financially and they're acting as if they don't have it, like they don't have money. They could be lying about their work situation, saying that they got demoted or something happened at work. Um, what they're doing is setting themselves up for when they leave that situation, they'll have something planned. Like they're like they're planning their leave or whatever is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, someone has really went within and someone is ready to walk away from a situation or like I said, this was separation between you guys and they regret walking away from you. Why is this turning here? Yep, see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They messed up in the past. Yep, see the High Priestess in reverse. And this person has also been holding back. They've been keeping secrets. They haven't been telling you much. They've been kind of distant. Um, I feel like you guys may talk at times. Why is this High Priestess in reverse? What are, what are they holding back? What is the secret? What is this about? Why is High Priestess in reverse? Why is the high priestess coming up in reverse? Clarify the high priestess in reverse. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Five of pentacles. See, they've been lying about money. See, this person is acting like they don't have money. They don't have enough to offer or give. And that's how it was in the past. Like, I feel like if you guys were with this person in the past, they didn't, like, you were doing most of the work. You were paying most of the bills. You were the one that was financially stable. Someone's holding on to money. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's for this relationship or someone saving up money for their plan to leave. See, look, six of pentacles. The justice scales are balanced. This person owes it to you. This can be a karmic debt that they have to pay to you. So this can be someone that, like, did um, lie or, you know, took advantage or you did a lot of things for this person. And it's like, they're either going to give you a lump sum of money. This person is trying to come back and they're, they're trying to offer you the world or give you a lot of things. All the things you wanted and fantasized and dreamed about with that seven of cups. Um, they're wanting to offer that to you or this relationship is going to be equal give and take when you guys come back together. They're being faced with their karma right now. They went through some financial um, issues and problems. See, luck wasn't on their side when it came to certain things. This was somebody that was like courting and holding back money, being selfish, being greedy, not sharing. This could have also been someone that got a big check or got a lot of money and then like left you or like dipped or left you in a bad situation, but they had a lot of money. And then things went bad for them and they're rebuilding themselves up. But it's like someone feels like they owe this to you. Someone's also breaking free from codependency. This can be with family. This can be in love. 
someone needs to stop depending on someone to do things for them or like they depend on people or this can be like the baby of the family or they're just this can be a, a guy or a female that that's used to going into relationships or people are used to doing everything for them or like they get with people that are successful or have money and they're always doing everything in a relationship but let's see we have the six of cups in reverse some of you guys are wanting to cut the cord to the past like you guys are wanting to end things um with your past and you're ready to move forward um so let's see what the six of cups is coming up in reverse three of wands reverse see and there's a lack of growth here things aren't getting off the ground if someone is trying to come back to you it's like the universe isn't allowing things to get off the ground or they're not allowing this relationship to move forward just yet this is someone coming back this is like some out of nowhere like an arrival like you know with that knight of swords knight of wands like someone coming back towards you popping up in your town in your city um, and this person, they were waiting for their ships to come in. This person knows that they did you wrong in the past. Why is it still wrong to me up reverse? And look what they're coming with. The Ace of Pentacles. What did I tell you? Okay. Um, I hear that someone's going to help somebody with a down payment on a house, a car. Ace of Pentacles can be engagement. Whatever they're coming in with. Wow. Look, the magician is here. And look, see, look, we have the Empress in reverse. For some of you guys, it's like this person is going to like, help you clear some debts or help you with bills and stuff because that can be like bill collectors or people that are wanting money and this person is like nope i i got you i'm going to take care of it for others of you maybe you're just meeting someone that's very wealthy you know and um this person could have just been very stingy and stubborn in the past and then seeing that it got them nowhere and they're being open to share their abundance but the, the, to me this is someone that you guys already know and they're trying to make it up to you big time and i don't feel like this is going to resonate with a lot of you guys in the collective but I just feel like someone in, they may not go all out as far as offering you marriage or, you know, helping you with the house or the car, but it's like someone owes you and they're going to give it back to you. The justice skills are there. Like the universe is, is making this person give you something that like you're going to get something from this person regardless. You know, um, this could be someone that owed you a lot of money in the past or you let them borrow money or you helped them out, but they're coming up with the ace of pentacles. This is commitment. This is you know, someone sharing their wealth, their abundance with this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe they're putting money down on a house. Something is going on with this, this money situation in this Ace of Pentacles. Something is going on, guys. I don't know if this is not the deck that I want. Sorry. Something is going on, guys. And I'm about to try to find out. It has to do with money, 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 money. So mm -hmm. something is happening with money, guys. Sorry, love. Something's happening with money. And I'm excited for you guys. Like this is something's going, something's happening with money. All right. Um. Yeah, let's see what this is about. Do forgive me, guys. Sorry. I'm uploading Pisces reading because I don't know why I thought I did their reading and I didn't and I needed to get it done. I know they've been waiting on me, so sorry, guys. But let's see what this is about. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. What is this money situation about? Spirit, give me additional messages. What is this money situation about? What is this about? Mature woman. So you will be the mature woman. For some of you guys, you already have money. You already have yourself together. You're stable. False person. Okay. Give me more. So for some of you guys, they could have left you in a bad situation. And they got with someone that was the false person. And they see that you are the mature person. You know, the mature woman. The person that has themselves together. The child, they some of you guys have a child with this person, or they want a new beginning with you. This is someone that wants a new beginning with you. Once of the false person, they chose the wrong person, or this person has been lying. The false person is like it doesn't have to be like a false false person. This is someone that has been lying. They've been lying. And for some of you guys, like I said, it's because you have money, it's because you have yourself together. Someone took advantage in the past. This could be someone that you're married to. This person could be married, or it's like this person is now wanting marriage. Like and now they're, see, there's like a nice big house, everything behind you guys. Going to this child. Why is a child here? Because we have the four of wands here with the three of cups. 
This would be like marriage celebration. Okay, but let's see what this is about. Look, what did I tell you guys? Wealthy man. Could make this shit up if I tried. Some of you guys are going towards someone that's new that's going to be wealthy. And you guys are leaving a relationship like this where someone left you to be with someone else. Or someone claimed to be broke and they have money or that is didn't help you. They were codependent in a relationship. They didn't do nothing. And you're attracting a, um, a wealthy man. Told them laborers telling me that, you know, you had to work extra hours, put in overtime. You had to work really hard on your business, you know, to, to get the abundance and all the things that you wanted. Or this person is, has been working really hard to become the wealthy man. And they're about to bless you. They're about to give you something or this is someone coming in that like they can they can own like a company or something like that and they are very wealthy very established let's go on to this false person one more time this is good this is oh shit okay so we're not taking all of those so let's reshuffle that that's a lot going on oh let's see sorry guys i just want one card so you're giving me one message just one all right message of concern Yep, see? And this person could have, like, they could have broke things off with you through voicemail, through text message, through email. For some of you guys, they did go with the other, they did go with someone else. Yep, they got with someone else. And this could have been bills and stuff coming in. See, the community, everyone found out about this breakup. Friends, family, everybody in the community found out. Or, like, someone could have been embarrassed, like, damn, like, you left me for him or her. Now everyone knows. But it's like someone is trying to make things up to you. Let's see. Let me get my message. Yep, see, thoughts. You've been on this person's mind. You're all they think about. Someone, someone is feeling bad. They're having a lot of regrets for the way they treated you, the way they did you. My thoughts here. Yep, adjudication. Yep, someone is going through a divorce, a separation, ending. Or this person had to go to court. They were dealing with court issues. Or something isn't ruling in their favor. Or things aren't going their way. And that's because of how they treated you, how they did you. So someone was going through a lot of stuff. Someone was going through a lot. And they were facing their karma. They were dealing with their karma for how they treated you. But now it's like they're coming in to actually offer and give you something. Someone's coming in with a lot of money. Or like they could also be getting like a court settlement with this, um, with this energy here. Um, someone could be, so they could have like, so this person could have been a false person and could have did like some type of fake claim or did something. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Or someone could have did something or maybe they did get into like an accident or something happened or they sued someone and they have a lot of money coming in and they want to share that with you, move forward with you. There's something going on with the money, a wealthy man or someone from your past. All right. So, um, yeah, let's continue this reading. I'm just only going to go into the, um, the devil in reverse and then the queen of wands because this side it's pretty clear right so let's see why the devil is coming up in reverse why is the devil coming up in reverse why is the devil coming up in reverse three of cups in reverse someone's um someone's breaking codependency Yep, someone wasn't someone wasn't happy with their life. Someone is breaking free from codependency. Someone is finally detaching themselves from codependency. Yep, the world card. Yep. And someone wasn't happy. See, look, Ten of Wands. They had to face their karma and deal with a lot of karma because this person was stressing everyone out or causing burdens in everyone's life or in people's lives. And they someone had to go through someone was dealing with a lot of codependency issues and stuff like that. You know, like they were quick, quick to blame everyone for what happened or like I said, this could have been someone that got in relationships with someone and like every woman or every guy they dated, um, they were so used to taking care of the bills and paying for everything or claiming broke or spending their money on themselves or not taking care of the children, only doing things for themselves. And you're about to be rewarded by this person. Okay, let's see how this Queen of Wands is here. Go to the Queen of Wands. I have the Queen of Wands here. Seven of Pentacles reverse. You stop investing in this person. I feel like you guys aren't even paying this person any attention for some of you guys with this Seven of Pentacles reverse. But you gave a lot to this person, this relationship. Look, Seven of Pentacles reverse. You lost a lot in this situation, and that's how you're going to be rewarded. Something is coming back to you tenfold. I, I want to say twentyfold. I promise you, something is coming back to you. Um, there's you guys have a blessing in the skies coming in. Page of Wands. See, that's what I said. You guys aren't even paying attention to this person. Some of you guys don't even talk to this person. 
um, last time you guys talked, there could have been an argument or you just, you don't want nothing to do with them. Even if they come back or like, you're just the queen of wands, you're confident, you're moving forward, you're focused on you, you're building your brand, your business, you're taking care of home. Um, I feel like the universe has already, already blessed you though, after this situation. Yep. So you know, this person is a liar, king of swords, reverse, and this person is trying to manifest something with you. Or this person is finally like just stepping into their power, being creative, or this person is working on something. They're manifesting or bringing in a lot of money or something like that. I, I don't know where they're getting it from. Something is coming in. Yeah, you don't see this coming with that moon there. Yep, see this person thinks about you a lot. Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands. You were the best thing they ever had. You were the best thing they ever had. You were the best person they ever had. Why is this Four of Wands here? king of cups they're in love look the queen of cups this was a soulmate for some of you guys this connection is still open look there was that wealthy man with that king of pentacles for some of you guys this is new love i'm gonna be honest with you um this is new love and you're coming out of this bad situation and going towards something better greater is this new love spirit let's pull two cards down or is this someone from the past let's see let's look at the past person first king of wands reverse knight of cups see up someone stubborn arrogant selfish egotistical they're coming in to apologize they want to reconcile with you is this a new person definitely a new person chariot in the four of cups for some of you guys this person is new for other others of you this is someone from the past yep because we have the four of cups you're um yeah this is a new love offer coming in why is this four of cups here don't focus on what you lost look you have a real man coming in and stepping up with the emperor energy. Love it. You have someone that's coming in that's bossed up or bossing up. Someone that's a real man. Someone that like, like, but it's like this person I feel like, and I'm not saying you guys are sad or anything. I feel like your life is together. You guys got things together. But this person, like, they're seeing you guys as queen of wands. They love your confidence. They love how, like, maybe you're going to tell them about the situation, what this person did to you. Or, you know, like, they're just going to see that you work really hard to get the things that you want. And like this person, like this emperor, like they're in it. They're they're like they're like I'm not going anywhere. Like this person is wealthy. They're sitting on their throne. Okay, emperor, come through. All right. Um, rise knight of cups here. See, look, the two of pentacles. This was someone that couldn't find balance. That could have been juggling. That didn't know what they wanted in the past. They could have been cheating, lying. Already committed with that king of wands coming up in reverse. Yep. Let's see how this three of cups is here with this uh, four of wands. The strength card stay strong guys you've overcome the devil the toxicity all of that the devil's coming up in reverse shame card leo energy give me one more card the ace of cups yep new love is coming in a new beginning new love two aces love it we're just gonna leave it there okay love it love it love it let's pull some spirit messages and then we'll pull some love oracles um, and then we'll end it. All right, let's see. What additional messages do you have for this reading? Soulmate. A soulmate is coming in. Okay. Soulmate energy. We have change. There's going to be a change. You guys are going through some type of change in a soulmate connection or some type of change is bringing in a soulmate. We have a knight. Yep, someone is, the knight is like an energy of like movement. So there's movement, change, a soulmate. Springtime, this is happening during the spring. We're actually about to go into springtime. I told you something was happening within the next four, four weeks. Sign up for that workshop, guys. Can't make this shit up. And then we have power. You guys are stepping into your power, okay? You guys are coming out of prison or someone is not like phys physically like coming out, but you guys felt in prison. Like you guys felt like you were stuck. You couldn't get out of something. You guys are procrastinating, but why? There's a lot of success behind it all. So something beautiful is coming in. I'm freaking loving this reading, guys. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Um. All right, I need two more messages. 
All right, so we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yep, see, someone is unsure of the future between you guys. There is separation. And I feel like this person could be like sitting on money and all that and want all of this with you. Something has changed for someone financially and they want to offer and give to you, but they're still kind of unsure about the future. We have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yep, see, and you guys have been doing that. That's why you're the queen of wands. And that's another reason why this person feels like the future between you guys is unsure. If this is someone from your past, because like you still got up and you still move forward. And they're like, damn, how did you do that? Okay, we have consent. Uh, cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning. Yep, see, someone was conditioned. Someone has beliefs or listened to their family or friends or whatever, replaying events over in your head. So someone, this person, they kept replaying this over and over and over again. And they realized that they were conditioned or they were listening to the wrong people and they messed up something and it caused separation. But you start loving yourself and self-indulged and you moved on without this person and they're stuck. But something is changing for them financially. For some of you guys, you had a financial windfall coming in for you. But it's like this person still owes you. Okay. And then we have the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, yep, revelation. This person gained clarity and truth on this situation. You fully stepped into your power and they couldn't understand that. Wow, look what's at the bottom. Abundance. Guys, I'm done. It says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. See, what did I tell you? For some of you guys, this is someone new that's coming in. This is going to be an abundant relationship. This is someone that likes you. You're going to like them. For others of you, it's like this person is still going to help you out or do something for you regardless. You know, like they, they have to, they owe it to you. I'm going to say they have to, but it's like this person feels bad for everything they've already done or the things that they've done and they're coming in, they're giving you something they're going to help you with something. I feel like it's going to be unexpected is what I'm getting. All right, guys, that is the reading. I love you all so much. If you guys want a book, you already know, fireintuition.com and the, um, workshop video will be next alrighty so I love you guys so so much again thank you for all the love and the support and we would definitely talk again very soon alrighty bye loves hello beautiful people it is Ashley here at fire intuition I am here to talk about guess what guys a workshop yes my soul has been screaming workshop 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 you guys have been emailing me and texting me about the webinars and I've decided to do a, a workshop. So I have a workshop that will be launching on Sunday, March the 1st. I am super excited to launch this workshop for you all. I will be teaching you guys how to attract and manifest your best life possible and how to bring in the one within seven to nine weeks. I am living proof, guys. Alrighty, um, let's manifest that shit, guys. Let's bring in what we deserve. Let's live our best life. It's 2020. That breaks down to four, the year of stability, our foundation, feeling whole and complete from within. So let's go ahead and manifest that, guys. Um, again, super, Super excited. I can't wait to have this workshop with you all. Um, this workshop is going to be amazing. It's going to be a two hour workshop. Again, it's on Sunday, March the 1st. It is from 12 to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. The registration fee is $35 and we will be connecting on a line all right um everything you guys need to know will be in the description box below there is a link to my um website and you guys can find out more information there but guys again this is going to be amazing like this is beautiful and the purpose of this workshop is about self-love and acceptance and how self-love and acceptance can help you guys attract and manifest the things that you guys are wanting and desiring in life. Okay, again, I am living proof, guys. I went through a lot before I started this journey. This is my third year on YouTube and it has been nothing but great and successful. I'm going to share my story. I'm going to talk about, you know, everything that happened to me how I, you know, 
left my job to start on YouTube, how I went through my awakening, how I started to love myself, accept myself, and how it helped me bring in and manifest the things that I wanted and desired. Was there obstacles and challenges in the way? Of course. But through it all, I am so thankful, grateful, and blessed. And there are so many things that I've manifested that have came into fruition for me. And the universe has brought me even things that I didn't manifest or things that I, I was not even thinking about or never thought about. And I'm so grateful for that. But it all started with self-love and acceptance, guys. So again, this workshop is going to be super amazing. Um, again, it is on Sunday, March the 1st. It is from 12 to 2 um, Central Standard Time. It does include a 31-day self-love challenge workbook. You guys can um, add upgrades to the workshop. So if you guys want to access the workshop at any time, you guys can do that. I'm also going to launch my new 2020 Manifest and Moon Packet. My new Chakra Packet for 2020, you guys can upgrade and add a 20-minute live coaching session with me. I'm opening back up my coaching sessions. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, Ash, when can we coach with you? Um... Are you um, open to coach? So yes, you guys can add those upgrades. It also has a seven day money challenge upgrade on there. Or you guys can just add everything um, that's included um, in the upgrades plus your um, registration fee. So guys, I'm super, super excited. It's going to be first come first serve, okay? Um, again, guys, like I'm, I have butterflies right now because I just, I can't wait for this and I just, I know it and I feel it. I just know it's going to be amazing. And again, you guys have been asking for this for so long. So guys, let's manifest that shit. It's 2020. Again, it's time to live your best life. Okay, guys, be living proof. Um, guys, it's time to make change. Okay, so let's come out of that stagnant energy. Let's heal. Let's release. Let's evolve. Um... And let's bring in the things that we really want. All right, guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you for all the love, the support, the likes, the comments, um, the subscriptions, the shares. Like, you guys have been nothing but amazing. And I love you all. You guys are definitely my soul family, my soul tribe. And I could never ask for better subscribers. All right, guys. So I hope to see most of you guys in the workshop. I know it's a lot of you guys. It's over 100K. But, you know, I hope to see a lot of you guys over there, guys. So let's grow and evolve together. We've got this. Let's live our best life. It is 2020. You deserve it. You know you deserve it. Sign up for the workshop, guys. All right? Send in lots of love. Love and light. XOXO. You guys already know how much I love you. I tell you guys in every video. All righty? Bye, loves. I hope to see you guys in the workshop on Monday. Not Monday. Sorry. Sunday, March the 1st. Bye, loves.